Yeah. What's up, YouTube? Chris from Hub City RC here. I don't think this is going to work whatsoever, but I brought the TRX-6 out for my rock pile. Get out the way, dog. And I really don't think it's going to be much for anything out here, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. And I'm running mostly stock uh, as far as electronics go. Most of my stuff's cosmetic. You can see the light covers. I got the LED pods, light bar here. Some of this stuff is 3D printed. The Thor box or Spider box, I think is the brand. It's just an eBay special. So is the bike. But all the boxes are all 3D printed. The, uh, the gas cans. This is actually a water can. I just didn't use the right color filament. But this has the ladder, the carbon fiber roof rack. You can't really see it. Maybe a little bit there. And I added some diamond plate here. A diamond plate on the hood. And I got the uh, Deep Woods C3 compound all the way around. Um, a bumper and a winch. But I don't know if this is going to actually work. The approach angle sucks. And this is kind of built for my four wheel drive trucks and buggies. But I was bored. So I thought I would try this out. I want to get an axe system for this. And just the bumper on this thing is just... I think I stated in previous videos that this is my trail rig. And most of my 3D printed trailers and whatnot go behind this. But, oh, I guess I could lock my dips in. This is mainly a trail truck, so rock crawling's not really I do a lot. But I just wanted to see what this would... Whoa! Getting hung up on that. But God, this thing's huge out here. You don't really look, realize how big this TR. Holy shit, dude! This thing is a beast. Look at that. It just walks right up it like it ain't been giving my other ten scale stuff a heart. Are you really? I can't believe this freaking thing just walked up that. You. Dude, this thing never fails to impress. Like, this TRX-6, I'm sure a lot of people say it in a lot of videos, but this thing is really ridiculous how good it is. I mean, it, it, it climbs like an absolute beast and descends like nothing I've ever driven. Two-speed transmission. I mean, Traxxas really hit it out of the park with this one. I, I kind of think a lot of their stuff is overpriced. Their, their entry level stuff is great. Um, love, I think the Rustler, no, actually I think a T4 was the first RC car I ever bought. Um, and then I raced that same T4 for several years and raced a B4 and then there was a retro class at the local RC shop. So I raced a uh, one of the gold pan RC10 buggies and I think I ran a stampede maybe yeah stampede um, and it was just more for fun but it was neat you know I like some tracks of stuff some I just not my cup but I love associated stuff I've been running associated since I'd say about 2006, maybe earlier when I got into RC. I guess a little earlier than that. I guess I got into RC about 2000, and several thousand dollars later, if not tens of thousands, you guys can relate. And I totally got out of it for a while. I was really into the 10 scale racing and 8 scale racing, and when that kind of peed it out. My local RC store sold out. I think it was more of a, I think he used it to, to support his hobby kind of situation than trying to make a profit because I think he was a pretty rich guy to begin with. His son was a douchebag, but that's pretty common with uh, 
millennials and Gen Z. And no offense to anybody, but good God. I swear America's balls have totally dropped off. This has nothing to do with Gen Z, I guarantee you that. Because I just... Sometimes I, I have to slap myself and make sure I'm still awake and this is still America. It's just, good God. The shenanigans are in full force in this country right now. Good God. It drives me nuts. Alright, let's see what this will do on a descent this direction. Went down my ladder last time just because the 6x6 is a little bulky and I turned around up top. I usually come down over here on the logs because it's a pretty good descent, but this thing does pretty good. Oh, I'm right up against that bumper. Alright, so we're going to back up a little. Good God, this thing's incredible. Ugh. Alright, that piece of alabaster is getting out in my way. Approach angle is just not something this thing does well. And I know I can lose the big fancy trail bumper, but like I said earlier, this is my trail truck, not my dedicated crawler, so I just wanted to see what it would do out here because I was just bored. But pretty impressed with it. it. It doesn't disappoint. I love these deep woods. The, the stock tires are great. They just don't quite conform. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me try to get up here close and back it up. Watch this front tire. See how it just ripples right around that? That's great. It's like the Predator compound from Proline. It does terrific. Really conforms around this. And, you know, it doesn't have the... It's a single stage foam from the factory. But it does great. It supports the weight of this really heavy rig. But it still conforms really well. You know, dirt tracks for the money. I love Proline, don't get me wrong. But the deep woods for the cost, I'd say it's probably one of the best budget tires out there. Um, RC four wheel drive has some good options, but they're just not as cheap as this. And when you're coming to a six by six, cost is definitely a consideration. The G8 Compound Proline were way too soft for this rig. I had to go a different direction. They just um, were completely crippled under the weight of this rig. And again, I'm running a lot more weight than I have to. But this is my trail rig and this is more of a scale aesthetic kind of a thing. The, uh, the CFX G, the I think it's the it's the ready to run and the kit version both but that body i was looking at it just because i was looking at some different options for this guy yeah i want these divs maybe i can turn around a little easier um but that jeep body from the mst matches up really good with this chassis not lengthwise but width wise it's fantastic it goes over the stock fender flares, everything. And I'm looking to really retain the, the stock under chassis, only because, and you probably can't tell, but I went ahead and sprung for the, the light kit for the wheel wells. And I don't want to lose that. You know, that's an expensive upgrade, and I think it looks really sharp. But I think I really want a white body. The wheels are really part of the reason I bought this color was because I wanted something to match. Golly, this thing's so tall. But it's actually hitting the bridge on that roof rack. I might have to pull some of the tension out of that. It's, well, I don't know. I guess it only hits this one and all my other rigs. I'm sure you can hear that clanking. That's the, uh, the CB antenna. It's on a spring, but Oh, something just popped off, but I don't know what. Maybe it was just a twig or something. Oh, wow. Must have been the nut from underneath there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's crazy loose. That must have been what it was. Yep, I can feel it. That's okay. It is what it is. Up against that bumper. Yeah, I think this is a little close quarters for this rig. I'm just gonna throw, kind of throttle out a little bit there. Oh. Goes. Alright. And I don't really know what this will do on side hill, so I'm gonna hang pretty close so I can grab it. I really don't want to jack up this body until I'm. Anyway, like I was saying about that Jeep body, it does line up really well on this rig. So, I may cut the tailgate off of it. And I've got the aftermarket. I guess you guys can see that I got the inset bed. And the Jeep body would conform right around that. So, I'm really thinking about cutting the tail off that body and painting it but I'm hesitant to do that considering that's a almost hundred dollar body so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up we're coming down in 11 minutes which is pretty long for my GoPro batteries are just a little old anyway you guys uh thanks for tuning in